Hello guys, welcome to the Cyber Zone with me, DK. As my major duty is to give you tutorials that will prevent or secure you on the internet. You know, now there are a lot of issues happening on the internet. Today, one of the basic and the core one is your Google account. I'm going to show you what you are not doing right on your Google account or what you should do with your Google account so that it can prevent hackers from hacking your social media accounts. You know, before you can use your social media account you have to have an email and most of us use the gmail so let's look at the way you can secure your gmail account or your google account all the securities you have to know this is a very quick tutorial but very insightful and very educative guys you are an influencer you are a star you are a celeb people are watching you people are following you now you have your friends some of your friends their accounts have been taken over by hackers by a lot of activities i recommend this platform for you the cyberzone.gh on youtube and cyberzone.gh on instagram guys please please go and follow us go and subscribe i bring you daily tips on how to secure yourself on the internet and probably the new security features you have to know so you have to know all those things guys it's very important and also you have to share share for your followers to see what is happening if you receive this video just share for your followers because it will also help them secure them and they can be watching or enjoying your content every day so just grab your phone or your laptop and let's go so here is my google so you just type my account.google my account.google.com but before we browse you know you can see this interface is white and i'm browsing with this interface but i feel that if you think of more security if you are doing this it's not bad but let me show you more advanced way you can use your google to protect yourself guys so give me a thumbs up when you like this video so that when you come to this update here you click on this dot here you come to new incognito window so it opened an incognito window for you what this basically means is you are somehow secure to some extent because see down here we say block third party cookies and cookies are some of the things that hackers grab to hack you if you know you know you understand yeah you can watch a lot of my videos on this and you will get the insight so what we are going to we are doing now is google account security so what i will do here is i will type my my account dot google.com is there I click on enter to search so it's loading you wait for it to load okay there I go all right so they say go to Google account create an account I already have an account so let us go to Google account all right so let's sign in with uh, our email so uh, today I want to use this for this tutorial so this is my account and my password is let me type my password here okay I'm logging into my account all right so confirmed yeah let me just confirm this it's me all right so all right here we are google account so welcome this is the account name this is just an account i created for this tutorial so what we are looking here is security we want to secure our account so come to security now on security let's see what we have here so security now let's see security issues found protect your account now by resolving these issues you could see this key here shows that it's open that means that a hacker can hack easily hack you you see but today after this video we are going to see how you lock this to make it protected all right so let's come let's come recent activities let me go to review security event so let me go and review what has happened on my account so far so they are saying that yes i intentionally logged in with my iphone 7 just when i was doing this video so that is it and also password change on windows so you could see if there's an have if they have been an activity of a hacker here you can easily see it from this side that if there's something you over here and it's not coming from you you can easily see it and 
know where you are going to or know the step to take so these are all activities that i did myself so there's no cause for trouble all right so we are still looking for how to keep put a security to lock this all right so let's come here sign into google so they are saying that to use your phone to sign into google is off so if i want to use my phone to sign in is off two two-step verification is also off two-step verification means that we want to put another layer of security on our on our gmail account or our google account so what we are doing here is we want to it's off let's turn it on and see these are other recovery emails that i have to set so you come here your devices windows i'm using windows currently to do this video however i have also signed in with my iphone that is this my iphone and so that is the a few things that Google is bringing to me but guys before you know um google also keeps a lot of information about us you know yeah google so i'll do a video to show you how google tracks you yourself how google is tracking you so you just have to go and subscribe share guys share all right so let's put a security on this account we come to two the two step verification all right so we are going to get started they say protect your account with two step verification each time you sign in in your google account you will need your password and verify code yes add extra layer of security guys let's add extra layer of securities i know some of you might know this but maybe you are not doing the right way i'm showing you how to do it so guys i think your followers has to know how to do this someone has to know how to do this so why don't you share to save someone to protect a family member to protect a friend to protect someone you enjoy with on the internet so guys let's share so let's come to get started if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel too guys you can do so it's the cyberzone.gh so right here so i'm trying to i'm trying to go to the two-step verification so they're asking me of my password of which i'm going to give them the password is quite simple here but it's, it's not easy for you to hack it yeah because i've taken all the security measures in place i have a video too on how to secure your account so you can guys watch it on youtube all right it's still loading all right so two-step verification so this device can get prompted jedus iphone here yeah, that is me that's my iphone here yeah. so i have linked my iphone to this very account that anytime someone want to hack this i will have an a message on my iphone so let me go to continue all right so there you, you heard it so they've sent me a code right away so what i will just go and do is just to type yes yes to show that yes it's me so after typing yes there it comes with my telephone number that is there all right so processing all right so they will also send a code right now to this number and i have it also here five all right i have it there so they, i'm putting the code okay so now turn on two step verification second step google prompt and other things okay so i have 10 on i have 10 on my okay so you see now the two-step verification has been set on and uh these are other things that you can do but i believe you doing this is quite enough for now to protect yourself from activities of the hackers however there is this you can also do you know you have to i always recommend i recommend that you go here and you save your backup code just write them down these are your backup code you can write them down these are your backup code so guys you can write them down normally we have it here so you write them down and they are saying you can only use each one code once yes you can use so you can use it and this backup code helps you a lot it helps you a lot so use the authenticator app too so do you I can also you can also use the authenticator app to do it but a backup code helps you a lot it helps you a lot in case you want to sign in your phone you are having issues you can't find your phone and all those all those issues maybe your iphone got lost or other things Charlie. you can use the backup code to also help yourself out from there so you see the two step of authentication is not anything that would 
deprive your privacy but it's putting a security layer another security layer on your account so that is that so let us go back let us go back to our account let us go back to our account so we were at security so let's go and see all right so now still we're trying to put security layer here so two-step verification is on we are verified now so now yes our, our, my two-step verification is on my password here just to see something about my password so then you know when you are browsing in incognito mode they don't save your history so you have to know that you have to be typing your password every moment you go there and it's always good to be doing that so this one i wanted to change my password uh all right so it's advisable i always recommend guys you changing your password as often as you can so that's what i'm doing here i'm trying to change my password Oh, they are all part of the security layers take this advantage the opportunity and change your password something went on wrong okay okay this password is basically what i used sorry so let me use different password okay so that is that so let's come to we are securing our account let's go and secure our account once more so we have here recent activities device signed in we have windows device signing in. yes it's me and it's showing the location it's coming from ghana that's where we are so in case you come to device signing and you should see a device signing coming from india china us guys and you think that that's not where you are and that means that someone is using your account and I think you have to be very very careful so we are still adding security layer so add a recovery email add a recovery email add a recovery email add a recovery email this will help you so you know I'm browsing incognito mode so anytime I have to be putting in my password guys it's very important All right so if you are liking this video share for family and friends to be part of this and subscribe to our youtube channel the cyber zone gh so i'm setting my recovery email so which email should i use uh okay okay let me use this my private email address okay okay just for the tutorial sake using this successful okay done all right all right all right okay let's go and see oh there we go so now you see we have logged our account so we are saying we keep your accounts protected so guys now it's me it means that now you are secure google is protecting you i always say that the systems you are using the platforms that you are using they are secure they are doing their best to protect you take this from me no account or no platform no online platform is 100 percent secure but they do their best to provide the best security they can the, the remaining is on your part if we are saying that the the weakest vulnerability is you you human beings we are vulnerable we are very vulnerable for attack so you have to always be up to date you have to know the new security trend and how would you know that guys don't worry just follow the cyber zone gh on instagram 
and also subscribe to our youtube channel anytime we bring good content like this you'll be the first person to see so today you see how we protected ourselves from hackers through this short video and this is what you have been looking for quite very long time and you are not seeing so this how we do it we just do it with ease there are more we are going to give you when you subscribe when you share when you like where you join our platforms that we communicate with our people thank you very much for joining dk cyber till we meet again we say thank you